Friday night and the only one that I'm in bed with has a tail. I literally have no reason to be crying right now, but like, this boy messaged me saying he started talking to another girl and he was like, I don't, basically said like, I don't want to talk to you anymore, like I just want to let you know. And I'm like, I kind of already knew, but like it still f hurts. And I, but he told me he didn't want a relationship, so like why the f am I upset about it? But I think the thing that I'm upset about is like, <laughs> boys never pick me. I'm never the one that they want to have a relationship with. Because literally, I always talk to boys, and then they get in a relationship, like, not that long after. Like, you want a relationship, you just don't want it with me. And that hurts. It's Saturday night. I'm home. My house is clean. It smells good. I smell good. I made dinner. I'm here chilling. I got the music on. Where is my man at? I don't know who needs to hear this, but do not, I repeat, do not download any dating apps. They're all the same. You're, you're thinking it's fall, and how cute would it be to be doing fall things with some guy? Well, guess what? That guy on Tinder is not going to text you and say, let's go pumpkin picking. Doesn't that sound cute? He will, however, text you after the bar at 3 a.m. and say, are you up? Can I come over? What are you doing? So I do not understand men. I don't talked for two whole weeks to go on a date tonight ghosted and here I am on a Sunday night about to give a relationship advice when I'm single but I will say ghosting there's no reason for it like from a woman's standpoint just come out and say it I'm so fucking sick of trying to date in this generation let me tell you about the lovely time I've had this last week with tinder and a tinder boy so about a week ago, right, matched with this really cute guy on Tinder. Um, I messaged him, I was like, you seem really cool. He was like, only one way to find out, hang out with me. I was like, all right. He was like, what's your snap? Gave him my snap. We talked for the full week. He was really sweet. He asked me to go to like a park to walk around and talk and like get to know each other better. That was gonna be our first date, it was for last night. Um, everything was going great. Like we confirmed the date the night before and then day of, um, he left me undelivered all day and then canceled at the time of um, with no apology or really explanation other than he said, I fucked up, um, my family has plans. Um, and I've been on delivered since, and that was 6 p.m. last night. So, I'm gonna move into the woods. I'm gonna move into the woods, and I'm gonna live in a hut, and I'm gonna grow berries, and I'm gonna have a tiny little chicken, and I'm not gonna have to talk to anyone ever again. She just asked me, if one of my good friends got married and I said, no, but he's engaged. And what did you say? I said, well, then there's still hope because I love him and I think he'd be wonderful for you. And you know who I'm talking about, you out there. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of getting myself cute, doing my makeup, get told we're gonna meet, get told we're gonna go on a date, and then it never happening. I haven't gotten past the texting phase. I have 27 guys that have matched with me that I've never met in person. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Am I not cute enough? I update, I update pictures weekly so that I'm not catfishing anybody. I'm 32, I'm in the Air Force, I own my own house, I have my life together. It's not good enough? Am I not cute enough? Please TikTok, tell me, am I cute enough? Am I, is it in my head? Am I really not pretty?